From 1985 to 1993, a particular general controlled the affairs of the nation. The story of this general is about to be adapted into a feature-length movie for the big screens by popular Nigerian movie director Obi Emeloyen. Details in our opening report. Critically acclaimed filmmaker Obi Emeloyen earned his stripes as filmmaker with the African thriller Mirror Boy and computer-generated image-enhanced last flight to Abuja. This is Flamingo Airline Flight 212. We have an emergency. I have been telling African stories and trying to take them to the rest of the world through my films. Um, and we've enjoyed some level of success in the past few years and increasingly as I grow older as a man and, as, and wiser as a filmmaker there is this hunger to, to try and be a bit more responsible with my filmmaking. So uh, as much as people want an escape from the, the, the horrors of daily living, um, as, long, as much as people want to laugh and smile and, and, and enjoy watching fantasy on television and in the cinemas that the time has come for Nigerians to start telling our stories. In 2012, Emeloyen received a special kind of inspiration after watching the self-titled blockbuster biopic about South Africa's apartheid hero Nelson Mandela. From there, he started working towards telling a historic movie of his own. If the blacks take over, our country is finished. Today, he presents his next project, Badamasi, the portrait of a general. Okay, in trying to make that consideration, I, I looked at people like Kowon, you know, retired Major General Kowon, who is still with us today. I also looked at um, um, General Lucia Obasanjo, President Obasanjo, who has the honor of ruling Nigeria twice. I also looked at the seventh president, um, um, President Buhari. Um, and I also looked at uh, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, who was president of Nigeria between 1985 and 2000, uh, 1993. And on all those counts, which is historical relevance, um, um, psychological and anthropological relevance, um, then the, the dramatic intensity of the story and the inspiring nature of the story, I settled for IBB as a name. Although an acclaimed filmmaker with many awards to show for it, Emeloyen understood the challenges of telling a story about a controversial military president. Getting access to one of the most powerful Nigerians, who is an ex-military, ex-president, who, who you know, shrouds himself with the, the highest level of secrecy and privacy was difficult. But, you know, with persistence and with a little bit of uh, strategic thinking, I managed to get access to him. And I met him and said, I'm making a film. It's called Badamasi. It is meant to be uh, a very objective, almost critical, almost antagonistic view of the man that ruled Nigeria who was famously called Maradona. And I think that story will be incomplete without his input, without him being able to answer some of the questions 
that have bugged Nigerians all these years. And graciously he said, maybe it's time to speak. Um, and over a three week period, I had midnight interviews with him where I posed every single question that I found online regarding the, the, that era, regarding his background, regarding some of those really controversial decisions made under his watch, regarding that very protracted, truncated, and for want of a better phrase, uh, eagerly disputed uh, transition program. I spoke to him about June 12th. Spoke to him about, you know, you are, you are the reporters, you know all the things that happened in that period. And he, he said for the first time, he was willing to talk about those things from his own perspective. And he, he reeled into this emotional uh, account of all the things that happened, his part in it, what, who said what, who did what. And it was really emotional that sometimes we have to take a break um, for him to gather himself. Um, and I think what I saw in those very intimate accounts where was you know a, a result to 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 speak the truth you know to because up until this time he's maintained what i call a, a very noble silence but the master will chronicle the life and times of an orphan who grew up in wushishi community in niger state and how the said individual relied on his enchanting character, intelligence, and humble beginning to propel himself to the pinnacle of power in Africa's largest country.